What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer Day with TK. As you can tell, I'm not in the beer shed. I'm at the beautiful Hotel Berea in downtown Paya, Kosovo. I'm out here for a couple of weeks teaching a class at the University of Haji Zheka, and I figured I'll check in a, to a few local beers and see what I can do as far as beer reviews. Now, this one's not from Kosovo, but it is from neighboring Albania, and this one is called Korcha, and this is from Korcha, Albania. On the bottle, it says that it's a blonde, um, but from the green bottle and being able to see right through it, I'm guessing this is more Euro lager, so Pilsner-esque. Label's quite interesting there. has a, a nice lady there with a couple of beers in her hand, frolicking in a field, so it looks very, very inviting. Now, I will say it's a pretty warm day here, so a nice cold beer is exactly what the doctor ordered. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any glasses in the room, um, and I didn't bring any with me, so I have to get creative. I took an iced tea container, and I chopped it down, channeling my inner... Uh, MacGyver here, and I'm going to work with this. It's not quite as luxurious as the Gatorade bottle that Anderson had, but when in Rome, do as the Romans do, man. All right, so let's check this one out. Let's get my opener out of the drawer here. I did travel with a bottle opener, though. Is that sad? The crown here just says Korcha. Nothing too crazy going on there. It says it's from 1928, so these guys have been around for a bit. Pour this into the beautiful plastic iced tea cup. I don't have my Brew HQ chart with me. I'm sure Don will be heartbroken. But color on this, I'm just going to go light straw, pale straw kind of color. Very light yellow. Maybe it's a tiny bit darker than I thought. I take it back. It's a golden color. You can see right through it, though. Um, don't really see a lot of carbonation or really any. The head looks luxurious. I got two fingers of nice, white, smooth uh, head on this. It looks, looks really good. Let's give it a sniff. Nothing crazy on the nose. A lot of times the Euro lagers have a funky off smell that I don't really care for. It tastes kind of skunky. Now, usually I'm getting them in the U.S., so God knows how long they've been traveling. So I guess this hasn't traveled quite as far as Albania is only a few miles down the road here from western Kosovo. doesn't look like it has any kind of date on it, so I'm not sure how old this bottle is, but it smells okay. Lightly grainy. Nothing else really going on. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Very light bodied. This reminds me of kind of a number of, of Euro lagers. Um, if you have anything from the Mediterranean or anywhere where it's kind of warmer, they all kind of taste very similar to this, in my opinion. Um, ratings wise, does pretty good. I'm surprised. Untapped it at a 2.8 um, on Beer Advocate, a 3.41, which really blew my mind. Now, I did read through some of those reviews, and a lot of them said, people traveled to Albania, tried some of the other beers, the others were terrible, and this was the best of the bunch. I don't know if that's exactly a, a great endorsement of the beer, but it is what it is. Shocked to see a much higher score on Beer Advocate than, than uh, Untapped. For me, typical Euro lager. Um, you're picking up maybe like a little bit of a, a, a grainy thing, a little bit of some grassiness. You're not really getting any sweet malt. I saw some people saying bready malt and this and that. I, I don't think so. Um, I don't think that it's very sweet. Some people said biscuity. I don't think you get that at all. If you're lucky, maybe a little bit of cracker malt with a little bit of adjunct graininess in there as well. The end is a bit funky as well. I saw some people say, saying well water kind of taste, and I get what they're, they're talking about. It does have like a minerally kind of taste, like when you drink it at the back and you get a minerally kind of note to it. I'm guessing it's just the type of water that they use. Uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, you know, it's kind of unremarkable. It's pretty light, pretty crushable. If you were hanging out in Tirana on the beach, you know, I'm sure you could drink a few of these and it would go down smoothly. Now, as to how this stacks up against other beers, I don't know. Um, it's not so off-putting that I wouldn't want another, but again, not particularly good. So for my rating, I'm going to go with an ah. It's middle of the road. If you gave me another one, I would probably drink it, but... Um, given the beers that are in Kosovo, I know if they've got pay and a lot of other stuff that you can get, I would probably choose one of those over this. So thus the A rating, middle of the road. It's not a drain pour, but probably not something that I would seek out again. So is what it is. First beer on the road from Kosovo. I got a few more coming up. Um, hopefully I find a better setting where I can shoot. This isn't ideal, but hey man, when you're giving lemons, you
you make lemonade, you do what you can. So hopefully you like the video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you had court show before? If so, let me know what you think about it. Are there any other beers I should be looking for in this region of the world? I've had a few, but I'm sure there's a lot more that I'm unaware of. So let me know in the comments. Hey, till next time. Cheers.